In this video tutorial, we want to show you how to use the product lens template. Now this is a Photoshop template that we've created to help you in creating a professional product preview image that you can use on your Inksoft powered web stores. Now in particular, this template is useful for showcasing small decoration uh, areas and embellishments. So classic example, in fact the example in this template is left chest embroidery. So generally with all of your e-commerce online stores, you have a product image to represent the product. So you can see in this example here, when you, you have standard imprints, you know, like uh, full front um, you know, screen print or direct to garment, it's pretty easy to showcase that using these product images. However, when you are doing those small decoration areas, it's important to be able to sort of magnify and showcase the detail and the nuance that's involved in that file. And that's exactly what this template serves to do. So let's talk about how to use this Photoshop template. So once you open up the template, you'll notice in the layers menu, you have two main layers here. Now, of course, we have the product image and you're gonna replace that with your product image. So this is gonna be your product. And this is, of course, gonna be your product with the embellishment on it. So that showcases to the customer, you know, the, the product attributes along with the embellishment. Where is the embellishment? What is the size relative to the product itself? Now that's pretty standard, but in this example, you'll notice how you know a large portion of this graphic would be sort of either empty space, the product, and maybe 10% is the actual embellishment. So that's where this lens effect comes in handy. The lens is really a magnified loop that showcases, again, the texture and the nuance and the embellishment. So let's talk about how to use the lens effect. Now, as I pointed out, the very first thing you'll do is you'll replace the product image with your own. Then you're going to click to expand the folder that contains the lens effect and the preview image. So really two parts here. We have the preview image and of course that's going to be your high resolution preview of the embellishment. So if you're you know, embroider, uh, doing embroidery and you've digitized something or you've received a digitized file, you're going to want to export a high resolution preview of that uh, particular file. Or if you have a vector representation or a high resolution digital representation or maybe even a rhinestone representation, you would replace that preview here. So now all you need to do with your preview once you've imported it is make sure that a, you have a clipping mask enabled. Now the easiest way to do that, and I'll, I'll kind of reverse engineer this. So here we have a clipping mask and you can see that represented by the indented preview and you can see a little down arrow. Now, if I right mouse click on that layer, now that I've selected it, I can click release clipping mask. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that clipping mask uh, no longer has the preview sort of encapsulated in the lens effect. Now to reintroduce that after I uh, have imported my preview image, I can make sure it's positioned right above the lens effect itself. So in order of operations here, you have the preview image and then you have the lens. What I'm gonna do is click on my preview image. And now that that's selected, I'll right mouse click and I'll click the option that says create clipping mask. And what that's gonna do is clip that preview image inside of the lens effect. Now from here, you wanna make sure to click on your preview image and I can use my arrow keys to reorient and, and nudge you know, my uh, preview image. So if I wanna sort of you know, justify it, and uh, change the size and the scale. I can do that just simply by clicking on it and using my arrow keys and uh, change its position. Now feel free to rearrange the position of the lens itself. So all I'll do is fold back up that uh, folder with the two items. I'll click to select the lens layer. And here I have the ability now to repos reposition this all together. So feel free to get creative and, and change the size and really the, the, the position of this to really create a professional looking preview image. Now one last thing, this is sort of a pro tip. Uh, many of you won't uh, need to use this functionality, but I wanna make sure you're aware of it. What I can do is click the little uh, effects menu here on the lens layer, and that's gonna expand the effects that were used to construct this loop effect. So what I can do is double click on any of the effects. So the stroke, the inner shadow, outer glow, or the drop shadow. And as soon as you double click one of those effects, it's gonna open up a little layer style menu here. And this allows me to adjust all the settings. So I can adjust the color, I can adjust the size of the drop shadow, the distance. And this might be useful uh, depending upon the uh, circumstances of your file. So if you have a dark, like a black Piquet Polo and you have a dark background, well, you might wanna change the drop shadow to be uh, white. Uh, that way it showcases off against the black background. So I do wanna point out that you do have the ability to adjust all the effects 
in that loop. So again, the purpose of this template and this tutorial was to show you how to use this uh, file to construct a professional looking product preview image to really showcase and educate your customers about that embellishment and that decoration area uh, for that particular product. Now find the link to download the zip file that contains this Photoshop template either in the YouTube description or below the blog posting. Now if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to the Inksoft Success Squad. I'd be happy to help you out.